He has an ability to inspire hope. Translate that hope into it's possible. Understand how technology translate possible into probable and get the results. He wins your mind first and your heart second. And, and he's able to connect all the pieces in terms of the outcomes. Over the last five years, he prepared India for the next five. During the next five, he's preparing India for the next 25 years. He is the architect, in my opinion, putting together all the pieces for the ability of this country to grow at a speed that others have not seen. And also put in place an architecture that is able to handle the inevitable challenges which we are all witnessing today. We opened this session on Monday with Vice President Pence. And in my conversation with him, he talked about the tremendous admiration the entire administration in Washington, both Democrats and Republicans, have for Prime Minister Modi. Uh, we all watched with tremendous interest when Prime Minister Modi came to, to the U.S. and in Texas with the Howdy Modi and the tr very successful trip that President Trump did uh, to India. You see a trust of relationships between two great leaders. Uh, if I were going to bet on one country in Asia, I said five years ago I'd bet on India. If I were going to bet on two countries in Asia at this time, I'd bet on India twice. It is because of that leader. He is truly one of the most amazing leaders of our lifetime, somebody that I'm a friend, and somebody I literally would trust my life with. With that said, let me turn over to the Honorable Prime Minister Modi for your comments today, sir, and thank you very much for being with us. Distinguished guests in India and USA. Namaste. It is wonderful to see U.S. ISPF bring together a diverse range of people for the U.S.-India Summit 2020. The work of the U.S. ISPF is bringing India and U.S.A. closer is commendable. I have known John Chambers for many years now. His affection towards India is very, very strong. A few years ago, he was awarded the Padma Sri Honor. Friends, the theme of this year is a relevant one navigating new challenges. When the year 2020 began, did anybody imagine this is how it would pan out? A global pandemic has impacted everyone. It is testing our resilience, our public health systems, our economic systems. The current situation demands a fresh mindset, a mindset where the approach to development is human-centric where there is a spirit of cooperation between everyone. Friends, while looking at the way ahead, we should keep our focus on ramping up our capacities, securing the poor, future-proofing our citizens, this is the path India is taking. India was among the first in creating a responsive system of lockdowns. India was among the first to advocate the use of masks and face covering as a public health measure. We are also among the earliest to create public awareness campaigns about 
सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग इन रिकॉर्ड टाइम मेडिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉज स्केल्ड अप बी इट कोविड हॉस्पिटल्स आईसीयू कैपेसिटीज एंड मोर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन टेस्टिंग लैब इन जानुआरी वी नाउ हैव अराउंड सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड लैब्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री द आउटकम ऑफ दिस एफर्ट्स हैज बीन दैट ए कंट्री विद वन पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन पीपल एंड लिमिटेड रिसोर्सिस हैज वन ऑफ द लोएस्ट डेथ रेट्स पर मिलियन इन द वर्ल्ड द रिकवरी रेट इज also steadily rising i am happy that our business community in particular small business been proactive came from almost nothing they made us the second largest ppe kit manufacturers in the world this is in line with india spirit of challenging the challenge to emerge stronger in the last few months the nation has battled covid and other natural crises such as floods two to cyclones locust attack but it has only made the people's resolve stronger friends through the entire covid-19 period and the lockdown the government of india was clear on one thing the poor have to be protected the pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana for india's poor is among the largest support system seen anywhere globally free food grain is being provided to 800 million people this scheme operates for 8 months 800 million people means more than double of usa's population free cooking gas is being provided to around 80 million families cash support has been provided to around 345 million farmers and needy people the scheme has given much needed employment for migrant workers by creating almost 200 million person days of a work friends the pandemic has impacted several things but it has not impacted the aspirations and ambitions of 1.3 billion indians in the recent months there have been far reaching reforms these are making business easier and red tapism lesser work is actively underway on the world's largest housing program the renewable energy infrastructure is being expanded rail road and air connectivity is being boosted our country is creating a unique digital model to build a national digital health mission we are using the best of fintech to provide banking credit digital payments and insurance to millions all these initiatives are being taken using world class technology and global best practices friends this pandemic has also shown the world that the decision on developing global supply chains should be based on not only on costs 
दे शुड ऑल्सो बी बेस्ड ऑन ट्रस्ट एलोंग विथ अफोर्डेबिलिटी ऑफ जोग्राफी कंपनीज आर नाउ ऑल्सो लुकिंग फॉर रिलायबिलिटी एंड पॉलिसी स्टेबिलिटी इंडिया इज द लोकेशन विच हैज ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वालिटीज एज अ रिजल्ट इंडिया इज ऑल्सो बिकमिंग वन ऑफ द लीडिंग अट्रैक्शन फॉर फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट बीट अमेरिका और द गल्फ बीट यूरोप और ऑस्ट्रेलिया द वर्ल्ड बिलीव इन अस वी हैव रिसीव ओवर ट्वेंटी बिलियन डॉलर ऑफ फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्लोज ड्यूरिंग दिस इयर गूगल एमेजॉन एन मुबादला इन्वेस्टमेंट हैव अनाउंस लॉन्ग टर्म प्लान फॉर इंडिया फ्रेंड्स India offers a transparent and predictable tax regime. Our system encourages and supports honest taxpayers. Our GST is a unified, fully IT-enabled indirect tax system. Insolvency and bankruptcy code has reduced. risk for the entire financial system our comprehensive labor reforms will reduce compliance burden for employers it will also provide social security protection to the workers friends the importance of investment in driving growth cannot be overstated and we are tackling both demand and supply side of it by making india one of the lowest tax destinations in the world and with further incentives for new manufacturing units mandatory e platform based faceless assessment will go a long way in helping citizens so will the taxpayer charter the continued regulatory reforms in bond markets ensure improved ease of access for investors there are tax exemptions to sovereign wealth funds and pension funds for infrastructure investment fdi into india rose by 20% in 2019 this when global fdi inflows fell by 1% this shows the success of our fdi regime all of the above steps will ensure a brighter and more prosperous tomorrow they will also contribute to a stronger global economy friends 1.3 billion indians have embarked on one mission to make an atmanirbhar bharat for our self reliant india atmanirbhar bharat merges the local with global it ensures india strengths act as a global force multiplier time and again india has shown that our goal is global good despite our large local needs we did not shy away from our global responsibility the responsibility of being the world's leading producer of generic medicines we ensured constant supplies to the world we are also at the forefront of research on the vaccine for covid-19 a self reliant and peaceful india ensures a better world atmanirbhar bharat is about 
transforming India from being just a passive market to an active manufacturing hub at the heart of a global value chain. Friends, the road further ahead is full of opportunities. These opportunities are in the public and private sector. They cover core economic sectors as well as the social sectors. Recent sectors that have opened include coal, mining, railways, defense, space, and atomic energy. Production linked incentive schemes have been launched for mobile and electronics, medical devices, pharma sectors. They have been well received. Such schemes are being planned for other champion sectors too. Reforms in agriculture marketing and 14 billion US dollars agriculture financing facility bring several opportunities. Friends, for challenges in India, you have a government that believes in delivering results. A government for which ease of living is as important as the ease of doing business. You are looking at a young country with 65% population less than 35 years old. You are looking at an aspirational country that has decided to take the nation the new heights. This at a time when we mark 75th years of independence, you are looking at a country with political stability and policy continuity. You are looking at a country with commitment to democracy and diversity. Come, be a part of this journey with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.